Jane Velez Mitchell here for The Fix. As an alcoholic, could you have avoided using in the first place if you'd known better? Or is it something you had to go through in order to get better? Excellent question. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Uh, they say in 12-step and sobriety, do not regret the past because when I share my experience with somebody else who's struggling, it might give them a moment of clarity. And uh, so I have learned that whatever did happen in the past, I shouldn't go back there and say, if only I had gotten sober earlier, if only I had never started drinking. Uh, there is a tendency to do that, but what's past is past. I can tell you this, I believe I had a genetic predisposition to alcohol. My father was a high functioning alcoholic uh, who never got sober. Um, and who is deceased many years now, and he was a successful advertising executive. But I think I grew up um, with a genetic predisposition and also with an environmental predisposition because I saw him drinking and drinking his martinis every night, and I thought that was normal. So what I wish had happened, if I could say that, is if somebody, a teacher or somebody had sat me down and said, you do not have to drink. It's not normal to drink every day. It's, it's not a good thing to get drunk. It's not a ladylike thing to get drunk. And the smartest thing you can do is don't touch it because sometimes there are people when they start drinking, they can't stop. And I think if somebody had said that to me, I don't know if I would have heard it, but I would have liked to have heard it, at least going into my ears. And so that's what I would say to kids is that sometimes we think they're too sophisticated to hear the obvious. But uh, I know that my parents lectured me against the hazards of drug use and I avoided um, a lot of drug use. As a result, I was scared of it. Um, but I never got the alcohol lecture and that's a lecture I really wish I had gotten. And so parents out there, if your kids are going to have that first big party when they turn, whatever, 15, uh, don't allow alcohol in the house. And if they start giving you a hard time, say, look, uh, you're going to have to learn to have fun without booze because the alternative is something you don't want to experience. I'm Jane Velez Mitchell for The Fix. You can watch me weeknights on HLN at 7 p.m. Eastern.